what you got for me, Night Cash? This takes forever to loot, though. Spooky stuff, man. I hear cries in the distance. I don't like this, dude. We're about to get a jump scare. Don't jump scare me, game. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Grim Soul Survival. Today, we return, boys and girls, and welcome to the new update 1.0.4. Without further ado, let's go ahead and let's dive into the patch notes and talk about some of the amazing new additions that have come to the game. So, let's go over what is new in Grim Soul version 1.0.4, the first major update that we have seen that I'm so excited to hop into. I hope that you guys are as well. If you are, make sure to let me know in that comment section down below. Let me know what your favorite part of what we're talking about here is and hit that like button as well if you are excited for this and uh, most importantly of all make sure to have a favorite fantastic day for me but without further ado dear exiles today we've updated grim soul version 1.0.4 and Google Play, the game has been fully translated into Spanish, Portuguese, and Italian languages. You can find a language in the game settings. We've added a new source of loot, night caches, which may appear only in the three skull locations and only at night. Dude, this is so spooky. I kind of love this. They're working on making the game, like, kind of time-based. Like, they're really kind of making nighttime, not just like, you know, oh, it's a little bit darker out. It's They're making nighttime literally like a gameplay feature and it's kind of crazy when you think about it because here they're adding a very specific type of loot in the form of the night caches that hopefully probably i hope if we're going into level three zones at night time and worrying about the night guest because that's when he will pop up and poop on us definitely bringing a torch for that uh i feel like it's got to be worthwhile so hopefully we get some awesome stuff from there i'm really excited to hop in a night cache though but uh mandrake is a new plant with mystical properties you can grow mandrake from mandrake seeds and brew a strong potion from it the best loot source for mandrake seeds is night caches so it looks like night caches will also be a great source of this new item um does that mean we can find it elsewhere maybe I don't know, because they said the best source is night caches, so maybe there are other sources as well, or maybe they're just saying that in like a way where it's like, yeah, definitely go to the night cacher, something like that. But uh, for your convenience, we've added push notifications, so I think that means like if you are done traveling somewhere, it'll just uh, pop up a notification on your phone and be like, hey, yo, hey, you done traveling, bro. And you'll be like, hey, thanks, bro. <laughs> Uh, Double-clicking an item in your inventory will equip not just a weapon and clothing, but also food, water, and medicines into the quick slot. We've added the sound of a ringing bell, which will notify exiles of the start and end of nighttime. So that's actually pretty cool because that means anywhere that you are, you will know when nighttime is happening. And it makes sense that they do kind of give you a cue, like a kind of like an audio cue that it's like, yo, Nighttime Saturday because now there's like specific gameplay stuff that only happens at nighttime. Before it was just a night guest, but now you got night caches, so that makes a lot of sense. Hopefully they add in something like a clock, or maybe you can craft something like a clock. Something that lets us know like what time it is besides the bell. Because I don't think there's currently a way of knowing, and with the increased importance of nighttime, maybe maybe we can make like a sundial, something like that. Isn't that like an old timey medieval thing they had to kind of tell time? I don't know, I think that that would be uh, pretty useful. Now, if your weapon breaks, your character will automatically switch to a weapon equipped in your quick slot. So that's pretty cool. If you're like, if you break a weapon and you got something in the slot where usually you'd use medical supplies and stuff, it'll automatically switch. I think that's pretty standard in the other last day on earth type of games. But I, if, if it isn't, it's cool that they added in. If it is, that's cool that they caught up to the standard something along those lines it's now easier to compare items that can be equipped thanks to colored arrows in items descriptions they can help you figure out whether the selected item is better than the item you currently have equipped so what that means is that like if you have let's just say a torch that does like 10 damage one attack speed one reach or whatever and then you have like another weapon and you're like kind of mousing over it or, like you're hovering over it to look at its stats if it has like a better attack it will give you like a little green arrow next to the attack if it has like worse range it'll give you like a little red arrow pointing down next to the range you just kind of keep you in the loop and let you know that it's like hey this weapon is better in these parts better in those parts in case you don't just want to have to like keep looking back and forth between the numbers that's actually a pretty nifty and quick way of being able to like compare items lowered the cost of resetting crafting points I, I haven't really reset crafting points too much so i don't know too much about that added a minimum number of lootable items to chests so you will no longer come across empty chests this is pretty huge because empty chests are probably the most disappointing thing in this game so that is nice that there is a minimum amount of stuff what's that maybe it's like three it's probably like some number but you are going to get a minimum of something you are guaranteed something for opening chests which is pretty freaking awesome they enhanced certain animations 
animations fix spikes at your home location so that they damage enemies and added several new information panels and fixed several small issues and detention make sure you have updated version 1.0.4 if you don't see everything you wanted added or fixed in this specific update don't worry we are constantly working on developing and enhancing this game and a player experience and grim soul soon to be even better if you find any translation errors let us know about it writing in english at translate at grimsoulgame.com together we will make the game better and there you have it the patch notes for what is here in version 1.0.4 and what we are about to go ahead and check out the most excited of which i am probably to check out the night cache probably gonna be really dangerous but hey danger is my middle name actually no it isn't uh, uh spoiler do i even have a middle name probably somewhere in there who knows but uh, we're gonna be doing that and i'd love to hear from you guys not only what your favorite part of these patch notes and what this update is but i would also love to hear from you guys what you are excited and what you would love to see hopefully coming into the future of the game grim soul is still really early in the development cycle and it, it's gonna be really exciting to see what else is added to the game especially as we can hopefully like go up north cross the rivers go to new locations check out like castles and towers like there's so much cool potential and i am really excited to see where the grim soul survival team takes this game but uh, that is gonna do it for talking about the patch notes let's go and adventure so with all of that said let's go ahead it is nighttime right now i think you guys know what that means that means it is time for us to try and get a little bit ballsy try and go to the level three zone we are bringing a torch just to be careful oh no 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 what is this <laughs> that's not a good pop-up night guest sight of the same evil spirit suddenly appears in the night and then no living soul can defeat it. only lights or a magical circle can help a wanderer escape imminent death everyone else must rely on strong walls to survive the night well ain't that spooky uh well guess what we're gonna be diving straight into the middle of the night going to the three skull location and we are going to see i hopefully we don't encounter the night guest uh, what i'm looking for though is the night cache and hopefully some of those new uh mandrake seeds that that would be freaking dope so we could plant those back at home and take things from there that's gonna be awesome but i hope you guys are seriously having an absolutely favorite fantastic day for real for real uh we got a couple of good weapons here we also got the necessary materials for some more band-aids because that'll probably come in handy uh we got a ton of extra cloth so we can hopefully craft more if and when we get more grass because i'm guessing that things are gonna be pretty hard uh, we got what eight band-aids that's pretty good i'm pretty sure we might automatically swap weapons i'm not 100 percent sure if that'll happen but hopefully but dude out of all of those things that were talked about i think these are the big ticket items we got to go for right now and it's kind of cool that that bell does happen like i started recording right before the bell actually hit so that sucks but we should be able to hear the ringing bell at the end and we can double click the item to equip stuff not but like also food water medicines that type of stuff so that's kind of handy and the comparisons between weapons forests and hills if a traveler dies in the forest or among the hills marked with skulls then their body will be lost their forest weapons Will disappear forever thank you for the heads up game so it looks like they've also added in some of these like different tips to kind of try and like help people out that type of stuff potentially possibly but listen i just want this night cash and uh also I've, i'm honestly i'm just gonna have the uh i don't know if we should have the torch out but we should probably uh i don't want to have it out because you know what if we're not ready but let's just get looking let's see if we can't try and f oh my god that's a templar i don't know if we're ready to take that thing on we got to try and be a little bit sneaky dicky this is not a safe place if we see the night guests start coming we either start running for the hills or we gotta do something what do we have here a couple of big enemies all right this is some easy enemies we should be able to take these guys out relatively easy shouldn't be too bad oh goodbye damn oh we do have this rather big dire wolf here that we gotta deal with goodbye dire wolf please no kill thank you come again let's go ahead and munch on that thing Let's continue sneaking on through and hopefully coming across this cache where- Oh, I see the night guest coming. I see the night guest coming. Oh, torch! Torch, get out of here, night guest! Oh, no, now we gotta find a dire wolf. Where did you come from, dire wolf? Hold on, I'm gonna auto you. I'm gonna equip that puppy back on. There we go. Keep fighting, keep fighting. Good stuff. Hopefully the night guest does not keep coming after us. That would be kind of pooptastic because that guy is uh, very spooky. Hopefully every one of these zones is like guaranteed to have a night cache though that'd be pretty awesome but i could see it not happening but i could oh <gasps> is that it over there i do oh my god dude hold on there's actually a lot of enemies up ahead we might want to start kind of like clearing the path slowly but surely getting some sneak attacks when we can yeah dude we can see we, we can definitely see like caches i don't know if these are the night caches but it looks like there's tons of loot oh my god there's tons of enemies too though it's kind of spooky you know uh can we oh okay just the wolf though nothing too bad 
We also gotta make sure just kind of keep keeping our eyes peeled on the mini map for the night guest. Oh my god, it like zooms in when I loot. Talk about spooky. Hold on, I see. Oh no no no! Why is a damn knight coming after me? No, I don't want to fight this guy. Although I think we might have to. Let's equip our best weapon and let's take him out. As long as we have to fight a Templar, dude. Those Templars are kind of swole. Let's just keep healing. Down goes the knight, and we can take some of his stuff there. Also, make sure that we're looting grass along the way so we can craft more band-aids. Uh, let's go back to our normal weapon. The knight guest hall is at us again. We gotta be ready to go after him as well, but all right, let's try and finish this loot off. We got that giant horde of enemies to the right. Dude, this is spooky, but it's intense. This is my first ever level three zone on top of that all, so it's even, even spookier in that regard. Uh, let's just grab what we can here. Goodbye to the empty. Don't want to stay. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's exactly why I don't want to stay. Oh, no. Yeah, get out of here, night guest. Get out of here. Oh, I got a direwolf coming. All right. I'll start dealing with you there, Mr. Direwolf. I'll eat some food. I'll equip this thing. Hopefully, we get another weapon out of one of these boxes. Hopefully, we can open a box in the... Well, I mean, we open this one. Oh, get out of here, Lucifer. Although, this is kind of good. I actually had to kill players for one of my quests. And he might have a new weapon and some new clothes for us as well. Thank you, buddy boy. I appreciate that a ton. Um, why don't we take what we can? That's actually a pretty nice sword there. That is probably higher quality than my stuff, too. Honestly, I'm gonna have as many weapons as I can. That's probably just the best bet right now. We gotta be ready to attack when the call comes upon us. Um, why don't we just eat the last of our food? Grab that. That's probably pretty valuable. Oh, things are getting spooky. Uh, let's get rid of the... Eh. Eh, let's get rid of the rope. Pick that up. That could be pretty... Oh my god, a freaking bear. Dude, I always get spooked by the randomness stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, let's, uh, let's equip that torch there, shall we? Get out of here. Get out of here. We only gotta deal with two of these guys now. Oh, this ain't good. This ain't good. Let's not use the quality on that thing too much. There we go. Take those guys out. Oh my god, talk about a bloodbath. Listen, this better pay off, man. We better come across what I'm looking for. What is that noise? I literally hear someone crying. Okay, we found the night cache, though. Yo, let's go. I feel like I'm about to get jump scared, but hey, it's a good start, mate. All right, we got these two dudes coming after us. Guys, this might be a great sign. Okay, hold on. Our weapon kind of broke. Uh, oh, quick to the longsword. Oh, no, not you two. Oh, uh, can I deal with you now? <laughs> kind, sir. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got the... Bro. Are you serious? Why did you have to attack me right then? We saw the light cache. I had so much good loot on me. No. Bro. Are you serious? And there, there you guys have it, boys and girls. The death at the hands of the player at the work. Dude, we were one band-aid short of honestly taking him out. Like that. Ah! Of course that had to happen. I was trying to find the honey in my inventory. I couldn't come across it, but no more games. All right, so we're taking this super for cereal. Now, I want to show you guys this night cache if it is the last thing that I do. So I did the unspeakable. <gasps> Sacred Blue, I did. Listen, we got to go heavily armored. All right, so we got ourselves a little bit of the heavily armored stuff here. All right, we are going to a hard zone. We are going to try and conquer this hard zone and become the kings of it. And are you serious? Nighttime just ended. Wow, that is, uh, that is toad just, just my luck. Just my luck. A... God, are you serious, man? How are you gonna do me like that? That's why I was trying to get to level three zone. And of course this happens, but I mean, might as well prepare ourselves here and maybe I'll try and like wait it out until it's nighttime, something along those lines. But we are going to need to stop along a level one zone first. We do need to get a couple of things here. Maybe nighttime will come by then. It looks like nighttime. I mean, if it was really, really short, I'm not gonna lie. So maybe daytime is gonna be pretty short as well. That was like probably what? 10 minutes? I think that was like 10 minutes. Nighttime's around 10 minutes, it looks like. So hopefully daytime isn't like 50 minutes and it goes on like an hour by hour basis. Dude, that'd be a struggle. But uh, the night, the, ah, it's such a tease. The night cache was right there. We were about to see what was inside and we got mugged by a player. And we almost killed that player too, which would have been great here for our quests because we, we I don't know, we would have been at two out of five and we could have continued the quest line. But, uh, oh, okay. I, I was trying to move the map around, but I, I, I guess you can enter the map two game. It's totes what I want, dude. This game is screwing me over, man. <laughs> screwing me over hard. How are you gonna do me like this, game? Look at this thing, though. 81 damage on the halberd. I don't even know if I want to use this right now. I'd rather just kind of, you know, pick up some grass, maybe craft a torch, and 
use that instead because like we don't have to worry about the the night guest i do want to craft a backpack and stuff too uh honestly i don't even uh i don't want to take too much damage while we are uh you know what, why don't we just go ahead, we can grab a scimitar and we can grab the helmet too, and honestly, let's we'll just try to take out enemies as quickly as possible, do some sneak attack shenanigans like that, but you can see, fully kitted out, we got a lot of armor, which is going to be really useful, and if we can just get some sneak attacks here, get some loots, get some scoots, life will be good, that's an odd bush, someone's hiding behind it, and maybe we'll get jumped by players too. Which might seem bad, but actually, like, we are still making progress on the quest line, so it's not the worst thing in the world. And is this just gonna be- oh my god, yeah, we're gonna get mugged by a bunch of wolves now. At least we can two-hit these guys. But, dude, that's eating through the durability on our scimitar. I don't like that. I ain't a fan of that. This new zoom mechanic is really weird, though. Really cool. Uh, let's take all that we got there. Let's go ahead. Okay, let's go. I was about to say, like, you want to pick up that grass there, big boy? <laughs> let's go ahead and start picking this stuff up. Uh, we'll do whatever we can from this zone, and then, like I said, we'll hopefully get our way to the level 3 zone by the time nighttime is actually hither and ready. So, oh, oh, hold on. This dude almost noticed that. Oh, we got someone coming after. Is that a player? No, just a random damn. Come on. Why can't a player come after me? Come on. Your death approaches. I don't even think they can understand me. I actually might be able to. <coughs> I got to sneeze, too. Oh. Oh, dude, that's the worst one. <coughs> like, your nose feels like that tingly feeling and you're like oh dude i'm about to i'm about to blow a massive one that's me right there wasn't as massive as i thought but hey <laughs> quotes from star wasn't as massive as i thought <laughs> all right well let me take out a couple of these lepers here i really don't i hope we don't have to use up too much durability on our scimitar here but we do need to collect some grass to collect a couple of necessities such as a a sack of the ragged variety and b where's the torch at there it is and a torch to boots and anything extra from here hopefully band-aids dude mm. we should have had more band-aids that would have been useful but at least these guys aren't really getting any damage in on us though which is kind of nifty we got the magical circle to protect us from the night how did you notice me bruh get out of here bruh you're dead bruh yeah get out of here i gotta kill your leper buddies as well i wonder is are any of these the damned because i can kill lepers in one shot regardless all right i'll take you out i'll take out your buddy and with that so let's collect the sack and we might just need to wait a little bit until the proper- Ooh! Getting some nifty materials from here though, but like I'm saying, we might just need to wait until the proper time comes. But, uh, you can see, it's safe here at night. Oh, thank you, Magical Circle. You guys can see, hopefully, though, that we are prepared for the task at hand. Level 3 zones, I think we just learned, are no joke. They are spooky, 100%. So, I mean, what we got here, between an extra weapon, between a torch to scare off the night guests because we have to be careful for them because that night cache only appears at night which is poopy because you have to wait for nighttime which i don't even know how long the day night cycle is at least by the end of today we will know probably but it's a kind of a poopy thing to look after so uh, with that i think because that's the waiting game if it'll begin and i will talk to you guys uh, either i don't know maybe we'll go and maybe we'll see if there's an event to knock out first and hopefully we can head on over to the caches if not though i'll talk to you when either an event pops up or there's somewhere to go or something along those lines and hope ooh, there is an event Ooh, that event's kind of far away is there a level three zone by it there is Will we be able to run to it? I hope so. If not, we'll start walking right away. <laughs> Still, what kind of event is this? And hey, dude, I mean, we're kitted out after all. When in Rome, walk we'll kitted out. Might as well try and do some damage with these events. Because I think that in the last update, they actually fixed uh, some of the stuff that was going on with the events. Like, uh, whatchamacall. Uh, what was one of the things? I think it was like, it was like the empty chest thing. Like, we witnessed that stuff firsthand. That was totally whack, yo. Not a fan of the chest of the event I went to being 100% empty. I was kind of uh, totally pooptastic. Anyways, ooh. All right, we got some enemies to deal with. I'm going to be looking for loot first and foremost. All right, loot's McScoots first, killing people second. Hopefully, there are players too. I would not mind marking some players and getting some loot. What kind of event is this, by the way? Because I ain't seeing no loot yet, unless it's all in the center, which it 100% might be. Or maybe there's like a boss type of thing in the middle who knows but at least from circling the area a little bit here doesn't seem too loco seems pretty normal yeah i'm literally not seeing any loot it has to all be in the center if it's anywhere okie dokie artichoke yeah yeah literally we just did an entire circle and we found nada so i guess we got to start making our way towards the middle 
Let's find the weakest point where there's the least amount of enemies that hopefully we could... Dude, they all come in like pairs, though. You seeing this? The weakest point where we could make our way towards the center. All right, someone's already... How's, how's this guy coming after us already, dude? It's going to be like... Oh, it's just a leper. I was going to say, like, it's going to be like some super crazy thing. Nah, it's pretty normal. All right, but I do see the first of hopefully many loots we will be able to acquire. So let's take out leper number one. Lure leper number two over. Kill leper number three. Oh my god, it's like a... I'm on a killing spree at this point. Ooh. Yeah, there's a lot of loot to be had here in the center. And nothing like... Nothing too strong by the looks of it. Oh no, a pine log? Is this just a dead horse? What is this? Is this like a crashed caravan? That's gotta be what it is, right? There's a... Eh, a couple of alright things. I don't mind the barrels of honey. Those will hopefully come in handy. Oh... We got something very ang- Oh, it's a bear! Get out of here, bear! Stop attacking me! And why am I able to- I feel like a bear should be stronger than me just, like, two-hitting it. I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong. I'm just kinda, uh, confuzzled is all. Alright, let's do some massive damage to you, Mr. Knight. Oh, there's the player! Of course the player comes in! In the middle of my fight, you sneaky dicky bugger you. It's alright, I appro- Ooh, what is this? Is this, uh, oh, another- another torture? Dude, why do you keep dropping these maps if I already know where it is? Like, you should stop that. Stop yourself, child. What is that, a spade? Not too interested in that. I am interested in whatever the knight dropped. If I can loot that. Uh, nothing too crazy, but we'll pick- Ooh, nails are actually a really valuable commodity. Why don't we drink up the agua? Toss that. Grab the nails. Alright. I'm happy with that. Now, let's see what is within the caravan. I feel like, listen. If the dead horse had some solid stuff, I feel like, get out of here, wolf. Why? Why is it always when I loot, you cheeky, cheeky people? Let's eat up that honey. Get our health up to a hunter slowly, and pretty, pretty lackluster loot. We did have some pine planks, I guess. Could toss the one wood for that. Honestly, let's get rid of the seeds. A weapon's a weapon, like, a dagger's a dagger. I mean, it's kind of worth it, right? I don't know how valuable that wire is, but let's, I'll, I'll probably leave it for now. And with that, someone is crying nearby. Well, I heard some freaking weird noises before, so maybe indeedly do they are crying, but I think that's all the loot. And they're just like surrounded by all these lepers, so... I mean, once you collect it in the middle... I don't really think there's much of a point of sticking around. So instead, we might want to... Kind of start walking over... To the level 3 zone. That might be a not too shabby idea. Or at least walk over somewhere we could run over there a little bit quicker. Yeah, right now we don't really have the energy to run straight over there. And we just, at this point, we have to wait for nighttime. It's going to take 28 energy to get over there. So we might have to wait a little bit. Why don't we run, or let's start walking somewhere a little bit closer. And hopefully we'll hear this bell. All right, and then by then, hopefully we have the energy to either finish this run over there. And then run smack dab back there. Something along those lines. Because if that's the case, things are going to be looking millhouse and... We can get take two with the night cache, and this time, oh boy, I ain't, we came prepared this time. We are looting that night cache, but by the looks of it, I think that every level three zone has a night cache if you go there during nighttime. So I don't know if that works though. Like I don't know if like it spawns when you enter the area. I don't know if like you have to walk over there. So like that's why I don't want to wait at that zone and wait until nighttime happens. I'd rather start walking over here, see what happens, take things from there. But uh, I will talk to y'all. In a sec. All right, everybody, it's looking like the time has finally come. I believe it is time for the night of time. I went ahead, hopped in. It looks relatively dark. I had to wait a little while. So sorry that it's going, it took a little while for this to get this video out to you guys. I sincerely apologize about that. But it is time for us take two of taking on the night cash and all the horrors that might be along the way. Exactly what horrors? Who knows? I mean, knowing me too, the bell's probably gonna ring in the middle of me show- Like, you guys can see that, like, the moon, right there, the moon at the bottom of the loading screen. I think that shows that if it's, like, daytime or nighttime or something, so maybe we can use that- Oh, dude, hunna, hunna, hunna percent. It is nighttime. If this is a nighttime, I don't think nighttime's real. <laughs> it's some like Jaden Smith, deep at talking type of stuff. So you do need to be careful for the night guest appearing. Uh, just so I am ready for him. We got the torch in the very first slot of our inventory. So we can hopefully whip that puppy out or like, I don't know, run outside the map. Like we got options on what to do. We can take out a couple of lepers really quickly. And with some proper armor, this should be a little bit more of a cruise than what we're used to. I'm a fan of that, dude. Listen, I like cruises. Oh God, this guy wants worms to eat my body. That's not nice. Why, why, why would you want this? Why you do this? 
why you do this? Let's use up one of those puppies. Mm, it feels good to have some of that at our disposal. But right now, I just want to try and find a night cache. I want to see what lies on the other side. Oh, that is the sound of nighttime happening, I think. So actually, I think we might need to run away from here and run back or like maybe run to another level two location. Never mind. Uh, so if we go, okay, so that's actually how you can tell at the bottom of the loading bar, you need the moon to be at full swing. So I guess we need to run to another level three location. Uh, there, there should be one nearby, right? Like somewhere, maybe, shmebe. I'm not seeing another level three. Oh no, is this the only one? Can we run back and forth really quickly? Oh, we can definitely afford a quick back and forth. Let's do that then because this night cash is the ultimate goal but that's really handy to know that actually uh, that is a thing that you guys that we can utilize um so just really quickly let's enter here for a second just to make sure that hopefully i don't know the, the game realizes we left there and we come back to make sure it respawns with something different or like it respawns as a different zone and we do need to be careful for the night guest now so things are gonna get spooky but ah I just want to see what's inside the night cache i want to collect the materials i want to take them back home i want to have some fun with them dude because I want to start growing some of those unique mandrakes, I think they're called. That's going to be pretty cool. So, all right, night guest. All right, whatever the night may contain. Throw your worst at me. I triple dog dare you. Ooh, what you going to do now? They, they, they literally have to do it. I triple dog dared them. There is no out. They are in deep, boys and girls. Uh, so hopefully we don't have to fight too many awful things, like a damned here or there. Shouldn't be too bad to cut through. The worst part is going to be looking out for the night guest that is 100 going to be the worst part of all this but we should be able to two hit this direwolf really quickly by the looks of it i think the cache tends to be in the middle of the map like potential Ooh, guys this is looking oh that's looking promising that's looking real promising and we just got two lepers we gotta mark it through shouldn't be too bad and here it is boys and girls Ladies and gentlemen, although I, I want to wait for the night guest to pop up because 100% this man is about to pop up. Oh, there it is. There it is. Let's equip the torch. Get out of here, night guest. Shoot. Shoot. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't wanted here. You ain't wanted hither. Although I am wanted inside of you. Oh, get out of your diary. Well, not now. I'm trying to loot this dang thing. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on, buddy. What you got for me, night cash? This takes forever to loot, though. Spooky stuff, man. I hear cries in the distance. I don't like this, dude. We're about to get a jump scare. Don't jump scare me, game. This is too dramatic. Um, I'm covering my eyes. Covering my... Oh, it got less spooky. Ooh! We got a lot of stuff, so let's go ahead and read that really quickly. We got another enemy running at us. Amber! Amber, get out of here. Oh, you are just gonna be another victim to the list. What list? The list of people I have brutally murdered in my quest for the quest that I'm doing. Something like that. <laughs> Uh, all right, so I'm gonna, I kind of want to wait for that guy to pop. I don't want to spend too much time in here, but there are the mandrake seeds. 100% want to grab those. Uh, what else do we have here? We can grab some of those things. Nothing too crazy besides that. So it looks like the night caches can have pretty good stuff, but I mean, ooh, that mace. That, oh my god, we're getting jumped by a bear. Uh, that mace, actually. Why don't we go ahead and toss that poopy little dagger for it? I'm waiting for the night guest to come back and visit us a second time. You know he's not just going to leave it off at, at one attempt at trying to murder me. And the thing is, I think that as long as you spawn into a map when it's nighttime, I think the night cache should, like, spawn in. I don't think it needs to be nighttime for it to stay here. And why don't we see, though, if there's maybe more night caches, something like that, or if it's just the one? I think there's a chance that there might be more. Okay, and actually, we gotta oh, equip that. Get out of here. Who is crying? This spooky, man. Don't spook me like that, pliss. It sounds way too close. I have headphones on, all right? I'm not trying to get that spooked. Just just chill, game, please. Uh, we got, oh, this dude running at us. So sorry, Naruto, but you're getting stabbed by my long pointy shtick. <laughs> um, what else we got here? Tons of chests, though. I gotta admit to that. Uh, let's just stab this dude. Ooh, stay out of my range. Ooh, get out of here. No, 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 bad. Oh, we got another wolf coming. Ooh, you can get the stabby stabs, too. Oh, come on. Everyone just wants a little piece of me, dude. It's like all the loot here is like surrounded in this like one huge central area and it's just an army of lepers coming at me, dude. It's actually kind of hilarious, but uh, absolute ton of chests, which is nutty. What is this like? You guys seeing the amount of stuff we have here? We definitely are going to want to start looting this. I'm scared for the night guest. I think the night guest is about to pop up, so I'll equip the torch here. And that way, if he comes running at us, we can just murk him really quickly and... Oh, we got uh, a bear. All right, let's start attacking the bear with the torch, honestly. Oh, 
Uh, maybe not. Why don't we switch over to something a little bit, a little bit pointier? There you go. I like the pointiness. Very nice. Uh, with that though, let's start looting through here. If the night guest attacks us, the good news is we have the torch ready to be equipped. So as soon as we start moving, it'll register the torch. Let's read that puppy. Uh, anything that great? Ooh, that wire is pretty nice. Why don't we drop? Honestly, that's just some pants. That wire is gonna come in a lot more handy than an old pair of pants. That pair of pants is gonna break, but that wire can come in. I don't know. It could make us some very valuable stuff that we use more than once. You know? Ooh. A lot of valuables right hither, actually. Look at that, Nikes tried running at us. No, no, no. Not today. Uh, oh god, get out of here, bear. Oh, I got a torch. Hold on, I gotta deal with you real quick. Let's use this thing. Ooh, big hits onto you, brother. What is that noise? Stop that. Who's crying? I don't like that. Please, stop crying, okay? Just, por favor. Is that like the sign that someone's about to attack us, maybe? I, I really don't know. Like, we've been attacked a couple of times after that's happened. Let's eat up some honey. I'm tempted to grab the candles. I think those might be useful. Uh, what do we drop for the candles, though? Honestly, eh, a piece of leather. We can probably make leather from animal hides. The wire, I don't think we can make that from animal anythings. And as long as this thing can last us for the rest of the night, I'm happy with it. There we go. Let's eat up some more raw meat. I'm surprised we haven't thrown up yet. Throwing up's a pretty popular thing to do in this game. So make sure we stay hydrated and let's continue get that's so nice though that there's like this huge just central location of all the loot honestly i'm a pretty big fan of that it's really easy access and we can grab tons of valuables Ooh, some copper shards were potentially dude this scimitar is so nice but it's about to break ah it hurts me to do this but listen we we need to stockpile items right now that seems like a pretty valuable item and honestly, we don't need all these leaks either. Let's grab that tin. We're gonna need tin to make bronze, I believe it is. So let's make sure that we're stockpiling the goodies. And as long as this torch continues lasting, I think we'll be good. And I mean, as long as we have it out, we don't need to worry about the night guest jumping us. So that's some, that's a huge thing I would recommend to you guys is if and when you are looting, make sure that you have your uh, make sure you have your torch out. Because then if the night guest appears and jumps you when you're like inside the chest, you're fine. You're golden, pony boy. Absolutely golden. Is this a new map? Nope. Another torturer's dungeon. Why do they want to show me the torturer's dungeon so freaking badly, dude? I don't know. But with that, maybe we can, uh, I don't know, travel. Actually, we should be able to grab some of that tin real quick. I was going to say, maybe we could try and travel to another level 3 location super quick-like. And see if we can get another night cash spawned in before nighttime's over. Because I think nighttime, at least from what we saw earlier in the video, it lasts right around 10 minutes. We got 32 energy. Is that enough to get a quick back and forth in and hopefully get our hands on some more mandrake seeds because the more mandrake seeds we got to play with hopefully the more mandrake potions we got to craft how's the durability on the torch looking a little bit over half that should be plenty plenty to last let's just try and make our way over to where we require and this is gonna be the perfect amount of energy after we get this night or after we get this we'll start walking back i'll probably plant the seeds and then we can start next episode seeing what they're turned into and potentially making some super dope potions out of those bad boys but all right let's make sure that we go to a little bit more viable of a weapon it's not as good as the halberd that we were using but still pretty solid you gotta admit we'll definitely be able to mark some dudes maybe what like four hit this dire wolf something like that yep Actually, three hit because we got the initial sneak attack off on him. So, suck it, dire wolf. Uh, where is that stockpile of loot, though? Oh, I think I see it over here. There's always like a ton of people surrounding it. Although, I'm kind of scared that. Yeah, we got a leper right here. Someone's watching me. Probably the night guest. That dude just loves watching me. It's kind of creepy. Become one of us? No thanks, dude. I like being me. I'm a pretty cool dude. You know, all things can sit. Nah, I'm not that cool. I'm just kind of normal dude. Kinda has to sneeze right now. Oh god. Ah! I hate that dude when you have to sneeze, but you don't have to sneeze enough to actually sneeze. It's like the in-between of sneezing. The worst place to be in terms of the sneeze. Alright. Oh no, a damn night I gotta deal with. Alright, well, hot diggity dog. Let's start dealing with you, hopefully before the night guest shows up, because it's gonna be bad news bears for me to be fighting this guy and the night guest at once. That is that's not gonna be good. Let's keep healing up. Marvelous! down with you very shocked that the night guest has not appeared yet actually kind of spooked that he hasn't he's, he's gonna come at a really bad time those nails are pretty valuable for us let's make sure oh there he is there he is oh no oh, oh. oh yeah shoot get get this doesn't do too much damage either that's kind of a small positive we got out of all of this 
Unfortunately, we don't have any food to heal with. All of our healing comes in the form of medical supplies, which can, I mean, it's good, but it's also bad because that means that, hold on, is there even a, I'm just trying to find the night cat. Ah, we aggro this guy. That's all right. Uh, I'll beat your booty real quick. Get over here, leper. Nothing like a quick two hit to do you in. Let's try and do your buddies in before your night guest buddy decides to reappear. Oh no, that's a Templar. Oh no. All right, we want to go to the big stabby McStabs. Definitely. Ooh, stab him. Ow. Okay, he does a lot of damage. Ooh. Okay, definitely a little bit too much damage. Let's just keep stabbing him. See you later, damn Templar. I hope you like pointy sticks because I got a pointy stick with your name on it there, laddie. <laughs> All right. Where's that night stash at, though? I ain't seeing it. That's an issue. I should start seeing it soon, fam. Maybe it didn't appear. Maybe it isn't guaranteed to appear. Or maybe just like the one single place we have yet to look. Probably a combination of all of them, to be completely honest. All right, we got, oh my God, another Templar. Are you serious? I am not prepared to deal with this, especially if the night guy shows up here in a sec. That's a nightmare scenario. These guys are way too tough. Like, look at the damage they do. Bless up we got the potions, because no way we'd survive this. Otherwise, dude, you gotta stop. You gotta start dropping some new maps, man. Why has everyone just got a map to the same place? You'd think you'd want to travel elsewhere in the world. Jesus. Um, all right, we got some lepers here to deal with. Uh, the night guest still hasn't reappeared. Is that a stash over there? No, I think it's just a chest. Ah, we still got a couple of chests over. Hey, another level. Dude, we're doing really good on the level progress, too. Did we really just not get a single night stash here? How you gonna do me like that, game? How you gonna do- Bear, how you gonna do me like that? Get out of here, little bear. I don't want to deal with your bear, bear shenanigans. I got people shenanigans to deal with. Like, where my night stash cash thing is. For real. Where you at, night cash? I'm like kind of not seeing you at all. Your heart's still beating. Uh, mine is too. Thank you, dude. Uh, yes, facts. They are a fun thing to state. Oh, all right, guys. I don't know how we're going to do it. You know, do we just try to do we just YOLO it? Let's try to take out the damn knight and then we can loot up all this loot. See where it gets us. Look at all the health we knocked out of this dude. Sorry, my broski. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's run. Oh, let's torch it really quickly. Get out of here. Oh, Nyx, what is he doing? What is you doing, baby? I gotta stab you with something. Ooh, he could have killed me there if I didn't heal in time. That's what happened last time, dude. I just, ooh, that's a, that's a nice sword you got there. Uh, If daytime decides to hit, I might just ditch the torch for this. Because, hey, speak of the devil. Oh, God, what is that? Oh, another Templar. No, did not sign up for this. Why do you people keep coming after me? And why are you always so strong? Uh, I'm just, I'm gonna use the giant pointy stick because we're already like halfway kind of We've already used part of it, so might as well use it till it breaks. This guy does a solid 20 damage, so there's every couple hits we got a heal. Thank you for the nails. We are getting a huge nail stockpile, though, which is kind of a positive. And I don't know, dude, if there was a night stash here, maybe it disappeared. I don't know, because all like it seems like all the items do kind of like bunch up in one area. So let me know in the comment section if you guys are playing Grim Soul as well, how your experience with the night stashes, caches have gone. Because so far, it's looking like, uh, not looking like there's one on this map. Like, we'll do a quick run around kind of near the end here just to double check. But uh, it's looking like all we got is some stuff. Like, it's good stuff. Don't get me wrong. We're going to have a ton of backstory here that we could read into. Hopefully some useful items from here. But we've blown through a good amount of potions as well. Maybe you can only get one per night time? I don't know, dude. All these copper shards. Like, we're going to have to leave some behind. I do not want to do that. Hey, I can kill this dude too. See ya, speed. Don't think you can escape me. I got the longest pointiest stick of them all, lady. Uh, why don't we get rid of that spiked mace since that thing's about to break. And honestly, mm, I think we should get rid of something else too. I, I don't know what we could get rid of though. Because I was going to say, he's got even more copper shards. I, I hate leaving those behind, man, but... I, th I think we might have to. That's a lot to leave behind, too. Oh, uh, do you have any heals, by the way, buddy? Hey, you know what? You got some holly berries. Holla at your boy. Holla at your boy, Barry. I don't know. Barry's a pretty cool name. I, I, I like Barry. Maybe one day I will name my son Barry. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The Falchion. A little bit better than the Spiked Mace. I'll take that upgrade in weaponry. Cores, I want to keep those. Definitely keeping the Mandrake Seeds, dude. That's the entire purpose of us doing all this. Going to all these stashes. No way I'm letting that thing go. I was hoping to have a little bit more by the end of this, but looking like that. Ooh, let's get some honey up in us. Make sure that we're up to full health and whatnot. We're leaving some leather behind, too, which kind of hurts, but definitely doesn't hurt as bad. Oh, 
it does hurt that we didn't miss out on that but definitely let me know like i said what your guys experience is if everyone always drops it if they just kind of tend to drop it like how, how things have been treating you here with the update so hopefully i can know how to stockpile these man drake seeds and we're gonna go ahead and begin that walk home because i think we got everything we could out of there and dude our inventory is so full that we kind of we need to walk home anyway and ooh, attacked caravan Ooh. I'm tempted to go to that caravan, my dude. I know there's two events going on. One just says it's an event. The other one's a caravan, though. I'm tempted to go to those, man. But what I want to do first is I want to see this potion. So apparently, what is this? A well? A campfire? How can we mix up this new potion? I want to see. Is it the bitter tincture? No. Is it the mandrake? Ooh. It is. So we'll be able to craft up one of these. We just got to get a spirit. I don't know how we get that. Probably have to craft it in some kind of box or something. A crossbow is going to be awesome when we can get that too, dude. An actual ranged weapon. I think we have to make an herbalist table. So that's actually level 31. Looks like we have to level up a lot. Maybe I'll even end up investing in... Uh, hey, we got that so we can turn the quest into. But maybe I'll end up investing in a experience boost. And... I don't know, maybe do like a live stream of us grinding Grimsoul a little bit, trying to get some levels. Let me know if that's something that you might be interested in because 100% something that I might be down for. But uh, other than that, that's a great point for us to go ahead and end this video off on. Thank you guys a whole ton for joining me in Grimsoul as we are checking out this new update. Can't wait to see what this potion does to refine it for you guys, to grow it, and hopefully get our hands on more night cash and continue seeing what this game has to offer. But that's going to do it for me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching have yourselves a favorite fantastic date and i'll talk to you in the next one see ya